You know, Pisces, this is an interesting energy. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. So Pisces, thank you for coming back and supporting the channel. The views on your on your videos have gone way up and I am eternally grateful for that. Um, so thank you so much for your support. Uh, if you really love the channel, if you really love this video, remember to like the video and then share it on your social media platform. Subscribe down below and ring that bell so that you select all notifications you guys, your content is going to be uploaded every single Wednesday, Wednesday, along with Capricorn and Aquarius. So this is your weekly tarot card reading. It's not really a tarot card reading. It's actually an oracle card reading. The tarot card reading happens over on Vimeo in the extended. That's two readings in one. The extended message, which articulates an almost personalized reading and uh, your romance specific reading. So that's always available to you. And I hope you join me for that later. Um, right now, this is a funky ass time. Hey, it's a, and what I mean by funky is that things that you believed and really thought that you, like you really felt secure about your belief in them or that you should believe them. And now those beliefs are being thrown into question. And that's happening because of karma, because of Saturn's positioning, because of Pluto's positioning. You're supposed to be questioning their beliefs because some beliefs we have, we have just because we're pressured or forced into them. We are forced into them either by our parents or by our society or by our friends. We're made to feel like if you want to be a good person, this is the only thing you're allowed to believe. And now because of this beautiful energy surrounding Gemini, there's this liberation. It's a mental liberation of no, actually I can think for myself. I'm a critical thinker. I can apply critical thinking so I can rationalize what's in front of me. I can be, remain objective and I can talk about things and see things in ways that I didn't feel I was allowed to before. So there's this beautiful, opening up of your mental state, um, a, ble a, a beautiful um, broadening or expansion of your ability to go places, try things, or think different things. There's a change in you. There's a change in your idealisms. Maybe even there's a change in your perspectives, which w perspective. And that's where I want to like really start the reading is that there's a perspective change and there's a liberation though. It's almost feeling like you're liberated. You're liberated. You can think again. You're allowed to think for yourself again. There's this beautiful intellectual. What's the matter, baby? My dog is acting all pathetic. I don't know why. Um, Excuse that interruption. Um, it's like you're you're you feel like you're allowed to think again, and you're surprising yourself. I think there are some things that you're thinking that you never thought you'd think, um, but you are thinking them. Why? Because you're thinking again. You're not just believing what people tell you and going along with the crowd. You're actually starting to think for yourself again. And when you think for yourself, things that you that you had uh, pushed away or things that you had denounced. Suddenly they don't, they're not as foreign to you as you thought they were. So this is opening up a lot of possibilities with meeting new people. And that's what I think with everything that's happening between Gemini and, and Aquarius, um, this is all, this is all sort of like the universe's big plan to get us to start seeing things from somebody else's perspective and seeing a different point of view, a point of view that we, we might have been afraid to see or or been backed into a corner and not allowed to see. Um, so that's kind of what the universe is conspiring. It's like, I want you to question your beliefs right now to see are they good beliefs or are you just following along with the crowd? Because the crowd mentality is really not what Aquarius is about. Uh, the crowd mentality is definitely not what Aquarius is about. About. The crowd, what Aquarius is about is understanding the needs of the crowd so that they can comp, so that they can, so that then they can teach and inform the crowd in a way that the crowd will um, ingest it. It's not to manipulate the crowd into a specific set of beliefs so that you can control people. And people who have been doing that, Saturn and Pluto are going to get them. Just letting you know. Um, I am a warrior. So you are sticking up for and fighting for something that you really believe in. And this might be contrary. Here's the conflict. It may be contrary to what you were fighting for before. But it's now it's like you can't ignore this morality inside of you. You have to stand up for what you know to be correct. 
There is no fear in you though. This is a sense of really knowing who the fuck you are. You are fighting for something that you really believe in, Pisces. Pisces, standing up for what you believe in, damn. Okay, and it's interesting, your energy, the dream deck, this is, it's it's all flying out. Um, music, so music has a great deal of maybe um, unraveling your mind and clear clarifying your mind or helping you to share your ideas and thoughts in a way that may sneak your ideas and thoughts in. It's almost like music and through music, you're sneaking your thoughts in, even though you know people wouldn't listen to you just outwardly, but through music, it's almost like you're using it as a vehicle, a little bit of like musical rebellion or the rebellious music of the 60s. But because it was music, people still wanted to listen to it. Um, falling. So all of a sudden something just like hits you. Um, maybe something that you clearly something that you didn't expect, or you're dropping a bomb on somebody or a bomb is dropped on you via music that you didn't realize before. Um, I think you're using music as a vehicle to drop a bomb on somebody, but you could always reverse these energies. And then we have keys. So all of a sudden comprehension, the aha moment, the realization, the comprehension, all of a sudden the secrets are unlocked. It's not even secrets though. It's like, it's like the truth is unlocked. And then wedding, key to marriage. You know, this could be literally keys to your condo, moving in with somebody, or that you're going to finally be, be able to get married to somebody. You may be able to finally plan your wedding. It's almost like you're unlocked from quarantine now. So you can finally plan your future and make commitments to somebody. This could be somebody very different than you. I think it's a key to understanding somebody that is extremely different than you. And that's key to this mentality right now. Food. This is celebration. Maybe you're actually going to a wedding or getting married. Um, it seems like you have everything in order to make plans for something that you're going to commit yourself to uh, for your lifetime. This is great energy. This is I'm making this video on the Taurus new moon. It's beautiful energy to welcome things into your life that you want to last long term. So this would be a great period to... Um, to set a date, set a date for your wedding or to ask somebody to marry you or commit to somebody. And this is it. You're putting down roots. So you're celebrating some sort of long-term commitment. It's almost like ideologically you've shifted something that you thought you'd never do. You're doing something that you thought you'd never believe. You not only believe, but you support. And it's almost like in some ways uh, an over an overarching maturation to your life. You're going in a direction that is making you happier than you ever expected to be. Epiphany. Suddenly you realize and see. And and it, it you can't ignore it. You can't like, once you once you know it, you can't unknow it. And it leads to even more knowing and understanding. It's like suddenly you you realize something that honestly Pisces um it's it's life changing. This is getting, you may, it may come, I don't know what it is. It could come through word. It come, could come through news. It could come through probably a song or some sort of art or entertainment is opening your eyes to this truth. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know or need to hear? Heart chakra. Opening up your heart. Ooh, baby. Wow. Wow. You're opening up that, that it has to do with, with your truth and the truth deep inside of you. And it's almost like you're finally allowed to radiate it and finally brave enough to share it out loud. Um, sharing what you love, sharing who you love, um, but also clarifying and shedding all those layers that were stuck on top of your heart that maybe you thought, oh, this is what I need to look like or appear on. It's almost like I know what my heart is. So this is how it has to look on the outside. And you're shedding, you're shedding that and you're just letting your heart shine through for itself right now. Um, but this is getting back, realigning with your soul purpose, your, your heart chakra. I say that because your heart is not where your soul lives, but it is the microphone for your soul. So it's through your heart that you hear your voice, your soul's voice. Um, and it's talking to you. Great energy that great. It's great 
Um, it's, it's a good sign when your energy shows up in your reading. So meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So it's a time for you to start over by really meditating and thinking about something with a clear mind and a clear soul. And then it's time to take action. Um, there you go. It's almost like you've been thinking about this for a while, maybe like, and now we are finally making a decision to do it. Um, really interesting contrast. We have Pisces and then we have Aries. So we have the end and then we have a beginning. There's some sort of new beginning here. And I think it's a life cycle. It's like one of your life cycles has finished and then the next uh, life cycle has started and it's fresh and it's new and it's bold and it's sort of like breakthrough. Okay. A lot of this is still really abstract. Pisces. Pisces. So what is this about? What are they doing? What's important? Like, what is this about? Something is here. Flipped over. What is this about? This is about, it's like almost like, like you're like you're getting advice from somebody that you didn't expect to get advice from. You're having a conversation with somebody that you didn't expect to have a conversation with. And that conversation changes everything you know about your world and, and the way that you see it, or at least because it, it doesn't maybe necessarily change your mind completely, but it opens you up to a whole new perspective. And that perspective makes you see things differently. It's somebody who's actually just very kind. Uh, somebody who is helping you unexpected help or or like quirky help help that that maybe other people wouldn't acknowledge as help but you you see it as amazing um I just think it's unexpected that's that's what it is it's like help from an unexpected place but it's there it's there for you and then we have spontaneous and intuitive creations and then emotions. So as these emotions come up, these new, it's like, you want to talk about breakthrough spices, breakthrough in your creativity, it's going to shoot through the roof right now. Because these breakthroughs in your brain, when these emotions, when these emotions boil up from inside of you, in other words, there's new emotions that are coming up inside of you because of everything that you're learning. And these emotions are pushing out creativity. This is the heart of creativity, heart chakra. Your heart is pushed open because all of a sudden you get inspired inspired by something you never realized you get inspired by but the inspiration is off the fucking hook because it's creating emotions inside of you that have to come out of you and you've never been so inspired before this is also something that you're very full-on committed to it's about deep emotions you're finally acknowledging those deep emotions and you're creating because of those deep emotions you're just letting it out they're both green it's all about the heart chakra it's all about being true True to what you love and being inspired, your creativity is inspired. Um, all of a sudden, a huge creative rush because of these new pieces of information that have just come through to you that have made you see things and feel things you didn't expect to feel. And I don't think that you have really felt this true energy pulse through you before. I think it's so different because everything that you're experiencing now is so different. Your brain is in a different place. And it's just like this surge of emotions coming up from this place, this deep, deep down place. That is like, holy shit, I never knew I was capable of this. You are capable of this, Pisces. Of course you are. You were always meant to do this. Um, sometimes it's easier to see what's flipped by seeing what's red on the other side. Okay. Loyal heart. This is beautiful energy. So this is about uh, committing yourself to love. This is about finding somebody and knowing that you've spotted an equal. This is about realizing it and being being proud of it and, and holding it strong, like, like feeling strong about it. This could also be about making a commitment out loud or finally realizing who you really love and what you really love. And then peace. There's a great deal of peace that's happening. There's a dove. This is wedding energy. This is like two equals coming together in love and peace. There might be babies. There might be children. This is definitely a new life. So it may not be literal babies, but it's a new life that you're creating together. It's like two birds lay an egg. It's all about 
just rebirth and regeneration. It could be coming together with somebody that you're just connected to, this powerful connection where you're creating, you're co-creating with somebody, but you're definitely co-creating with somebody. Now, for some people, like I said, it's literal marriage, it's literal coming together. But for others of you, that's not that's not what it is. It's it's um it's uh it's 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 creativity uh, partnering with somebody somebody that's just an inspiration inspirational breakthrough for you and then um no place like home that's really interesting this is all very fourth house energy it's all very much like uh you know where your home is now or maybe you're establishing your home or moving to a different location. Um, this is like, this is something that you're completely ready for. Um, maybe you didn't expect to be ready for it, but you're completely ready. This is a whole new life that was always meant to be yours. Let's put it that way. Um, um, wow. Whoa. Uh, and because all this is happening, suddenly you don't see the world the way that you used to see the world. It's changing. It's changing the world. The world is changing with your heart. As your heart changes, the world changes. So let's do Pisces, please. This is energy for Pisces. Please come through with energy for Pisces. Okay, there's angel light there. Let's read that first because that came up first. Um, spiritual or religious community. Wow. Um, join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So this is sort of a like-minded epiphany, finding people that you like. Okay. For, well, the first thing I thought of was church and making a commitment, like bonding literally through spirituality or letting that spirituality, like a wedding, Promise, making a promise in front of God to each other. So there's a lot of wedding vibes that are coming through right now, Pisces. If you're nowhere near a relationship, it doesn't have to be a relationship. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be that. What this could be is that you're just finding belief, people who believe the same things. And that could mean that you're disconnecting from people who used to believe what you believe, but you don't believe it anymore. You're finding a, a need to connect to people based on their beliefs. And that's something that, that is um, extremely important for you right now. And it, it's changing your world. Moonstone, heightened intuition, be extra aware of your inner knowings as it's trustworthy. Believe your intuition. Believe what your gut is telling you. Believe what you're feeling inside. Moonstone, it's just its just all about intuition. And I think that you feel this deep inside. You know it. Um, there's always some sort of discomfort when a big change comes about. Um, you may have sensed it coming about for a while, and that's really important to listen to as well. But I think most importantly, uh, just trust your own intuition that things are going to be okay, but be extra aware of your inner knowings as it is trustworthy. You know, that, in other words, <clears throat> there could be a lot of reason on the outside for you to doubt, right? But there's such certainty on the inside that this doubt can't it can't go very far. Um, fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. Oh, wow. This is just like true beauty. And see how she's holding two different spheres so she's presenting her whole self to the world, not just the self that people are comfortable with seeing, not the self that you have to dumb down to um, fit in, but your complete self. So this is unconditional love and compassion, which is unconditional love. This is wholeness and completeness, being able to be accepted and loved. Now, finally, being able to be all that you are out loud. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> this is some major, I didn't expect this. Now we're going to go. If you, um, if you love this video, please do like it and share it. I think I already said that with you. Also come join me on my new channel, astrology motivation. That's where I post my weekly astrology forecasts. That's where, if you're looking for me live on YouTube, I'll go live on YouTube. And that's where I post my astrology motivation videos as well. So lots of great content over there. Please check the link above and, um, uh, join me over there and then join me for it on Instagram as well. Um, you can find me at born 
underscore without underscore boundaries. Check me out over on Instagram. I do daily tarot card readings over there and I'd love for you to join in. All right, Pisces. Um, okay, these are your animal totem cards and they're really important because animal totems are the way that the universe uses the natural world to talk to you. And so when you see signs, symbols, or these actual animals, pay close attention, not just to the animal, but to what it's doing and to everything that's happening around you. Um, okay, so we have uh, watch and wait. Seahorse, this is your energy, which is normally very patient, but you're not patient. In other words, you don't have to wait anymore. You're not in a holding pattern anymore. Um, this is something that is actually alive and thriving. And yeah, you're, you're out of a state of stasis, which is sort of representative for all of us right now, since we're now just coming out of our COVID quarantines. Um, we're, as we're getting the shots, things are opening up. And so um, it's almost like you don't have to be muffled or stifled anymore. And that's sort of that liberation and that freedom, sort of a key to be able to make plans for your future. Hint, hint, see the big picture. So this is Taurus energy. It's beautiful energy right now with the moon in Taurus. Um, it's almost like you can finally see the future. You can finally allow, it's like you're finally allowing yourself to look farther than your front nose because you can. It's like this broadening and opening expanding. You have a comfort level that you didn't have before with something that was far reaching and outside of your own comfort zone. And then we have a rebirth is assured. So yeah, you're finally, you're awakening, you're coming out of the dark. This is like a cocoon shape. It's like the wing is extending out. It's like you're finally ready to fly. You're leveling up in your life. Most important, you're changing. Now with you comes a lot of changes to your friend group, maybe the place that you work, what you do for work you're changing and this is really important that you're allowing yourself to change you're excited for the change and you're coming out with this change it's open your life is changing and it's opening up it's it's becoming much more mature and broad-minded and it's becoming like um mature as in as in you like love just leveling up i'm not calling you immature now i'm just saying your life is, is, it's just in a different place than it was before. And you like it a lot better. You like yourself a lot better. People are accepting you for you a lot more. And people who don't are out. But you're feeling really safe with planning for the future now. Uh, Archangel Gabriel is here. And pff, Archangel Gabriel is the one who plays the trumpet. He's the angel of music. So we got music in your reading. I'm telling you, it's music that's expanding and broadening your mind. It's your way, your conduit through. Um, you will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. And that's coming, speaking directly from your heart as opposed to anything else. Clarity. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in the blue of the sky. Feel a gentle breeze flow through you. There is peace. There is clarity. A magical healing has just taken place. A gift from your guardian angel. Heart song. What is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. We keep talking about songs. You're, like There's a reoccurring pattern here. Positive outcome. Um, the sun is about to burst through the clouds. And you will soon see things in a different light. Um, something that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Determination. Determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. Pisces, 
let's get down to the nitty gritty and see what the details are. I'm going over to Tarot. Please join me. The link is below.